Okay, FAQ number 50, the question comes up, is casting out devils for today? You get these deliverance ministries and they cast devils out of people and all this other stuff. Um, is that for today? Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs, yeah, the sign gift thing, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Okay, those are all miraculous sign gifts that were given to the apostles there, to the early church, to confirm the word to the Jews. All right, and, you know, casting out devils is listed in with that. And, of course, you see in the book of Acts there uh, where Paul actually casts a devil out of this woman that has a spirit of divination. He casts it out of her. Um, but yet the ironic thing is you read through the rest of the Pauline epistles, you know, Romans through uh, Philemon, you know, and into Hebrews, you know, I believe that's more for the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, saints in that time. But Romans through Philemon, there's not one mention of casting devils out. There's no, you know, when you come to God, make sure that you go through a deliverance ministry first and get the devils cast out of you, and then you can get saved or something. Um, you know, I would say for saved people, if you have devils within you, um, and I mean before salvation, because I don't believe that you can be saved and have devils in you. I know that there's a debate over that too, because they say the Holy Spirit and devils can't dwell in the same place, and the, and the other people say, well, yes, but... Uh, the Holy Spirit's omnipresent, so technically, you know, it's like, uh, eh. you know, I believe that when you get saved, you're washed in the blood, and you are God's property at that point in time. And I don't believe that you can be possessed by devils when you are God's specific property like that. Now, you can get to the point where the devils are just like all around you, telling you what to do, and you can fill your home with satanic stuff and have oppression, but I don't believe that you can have possession, uh, certainly. Um I mean, just like you can go, you know, a Bible-believing Christian could get in the wrong company and they could misdirect the Bible-believing Christian to do something wrong, but, you know, you could still, it's not like they're controlling you. You still have your own free will. So, so it is with the thing of devils. Um, so I don't believe that there is some kind of a thing where if you want to get saved, you have to have devils cast out of you and then you get saved. Uh, I don't believe that way. Um, I believe that when you get saved, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanseth you from all sin. You know, as it says back there in uh, 1 John chapter 1. So I believe that, that the blood, you know, gets rid of any kind of satanic stuff like that. Uh, you know, now, of course, there's the process of sanctification. You know, you, you know, have to kind of clean up the flesh after you get saved. After you get saved. Don't try to put Lordship salvation on me. I'm not saying before. I'm saying after salvation. You clean up, start cleaning up things in your life. You know, the Lord will direct you and help you with that. But this thing of casting out devils, you know, you get lost people and there are, there are definitely people that are lost that are possessed with devils. Okay. Um, especially here in America, uh, we really don't even take notice to it anymore because it's so common. But I've seen many, many, many people that are possessed with devils. I've talked to them and, and run into them and things. And, and, you know, even if you can get these people to a place where you're, you can cast the devil out of them, um, it's really kind of a thing like, well, you know, the, again, the Bible talks about the thing of, you know, a man has the devils kind of cast out of him, they leave him, and <clears throat> the devils come back and they see that he's kind of like, you know, all clean inside now, and they're like, hey, let's come on in and I'll invite a bunch, you know, more devils into the guy. So... You know, you, you get somebody who's lost and you, you put them through some kind of deliverance thing and you cast the devils out. Well, if there's no desire for salvation there, if there's no desire to know God, uh, the devils are just going to come back in and more of them. They're just going to get worse. And I, there again, I've seen that thing. Um, there have been times I've rebuked lost people. Uh, times my wife has rebuked lost people. And it's just like they'll kind of look at you funny or they'll, they'll kind of straighten up and like, Oh, I got to go or something. You know, they'll, they'll get really, really, really weirded out and they'll, they'll get away from you. And, you know, they, uh, they never get right with the Lord and they end up worse off. You know, they get more devils come into them. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is kind of tricky, you know, as far as this thing of, 
you know, is casting out devils for today. Uh, I think we should just preach the gospel and, um, you know, the Lord will work that stuff out. And if you have, you know, as a Christian, you need to eliminate any kind of doorways for the devil and his minions to get into your home. And, uh, you know, as Christians, you can feel evil presences and stuff like that. Uh, the more you are saved, the longer you're saved, the more sanctified you get in your life as far as getting rid of things that you know the Lord's convicting you about. Um, you'll start to feel kind of that evil presence. I mean, you get near television, it's like, yeah, you know, man, I don't want to be near that thing. And, you know, get that stuff out of your home. Uh, it doesn't mean you're devil possessed or something if you uh, are watching TV or something like that, but they're going to be all over you as far as, you know, oppressing you and, and messing with your flesh and things, you know, messing with your mind. But they're not inside, you know, controlling you, so to speak. So I hope that answers your question. Let's continue on to the next one.